Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI because in the end, that's what matters. I'm going to do one more segment. I've done a few segments lately on self-driving because of very rapid changes in this sector that are leading to full autonomy in the very near future. But I'm doing one last segment just to show how global this effort is to do this. So I talked a bunch about companies that are working in the U.S. Last week I did a video on Geely in China and their level four car that they just released. And now I'm going to talk about another company headquartered in the UA that is driving fully autonomous vehicles. So it's called OXA, OXA. OXA drives eVersum beep shuttle projects. And this article was in Inside Autonomous Vehicles. Oxford, England based self-driving vehicle software company OXA, previously known as Oxbiotica, and Leibniz Austria-based electric commercial vehicle maker eVersum are collaborating to deliver self-driving shuttles for the Harlander Project's Innovation District in Northern Ireland's Belfast Harbor Estate and tourist attractions, such as the revamped Titanic Belfast exhibit. The first Belfast Harbor Project shuttles are due to deliver an inter-passenger service in 2025. So just to recap that briefly, we got two companies involved with autonomous, fully autonomous vehicles. The software firm is in the UK. The vehicle firm is in Austria. So this again demonstrates how self-driving is spreading globally and will impact all of the developed world in the next few years. With eVersum, we can deploy passenger carrying autonomous shuttle fleets almost anywhere. And these flexible forms of transport will become widespread as a way of moving people and goods in a safer, more efficient and faster way, said OXA CEO Gavin Jackson. And we've talked about the conclusive evidence in a previous video from a long-term insurance industry study that proves that self-driving vehicles are four times as safe as human drivers. Much, 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 much safer than human drivers. The broader rollout of self-driving vehicles is starting and shuttling can lead the way as the fastest evolving commercial area for access self-driving technology to make its mark internationally. So this goes on to say this guy who runs this software company believes that autonomous shuttles or robo taxis are going to lead the way in self-driving, which I think is accurate. Announced in October 2023, so very, very recently, Oxen and Eversum are partnering to design, develop, and produce shared autonomous passenger vehicles to initially address a growing need for better, more flexible, and low-carbon public transport options particularly as urban populations grow and road congestion intensifies. So in huge cities like New York, traffic has become really problematic. Another one in this country, the U.S. is Washington, D.C. And I've talked about how London has started restricting private passenger vehicles in central London. That will happen starting next year in New York. The high cost of maintaining multi-route transit services, that means traditional bus and subway services, combined with persistent driver shortages are already leading to service cuts affecting communities and vulnerable groups such as the elderly. And we talked in yet another video recently about how Waymo is partnering with the, partnering with the Phoenix bus system to connect senior citizens to bus lines from residences out beyond the reach of the bus lines in Phoenix. Transit operators can affordably and safely sustain routes and timetables while also addressing congestion and emission reduction targets. The Harlander project is backed by the UK government and notable industry partners. 
So governments are stepping in to address these key issues of urban transit, reducing traffic congestion, and lowering carbon footprint. The shuttles will be controlled by a full stack of OXA driver software. The self-driving system is modular, customizable, and can be retrofitted as a complete solution or integrated into co-developed autonomy solutions in full or at the component level. So what that's saying is that the OXA system is very, very flexible and can be used with virtually any manufacturer's platform. The E-Versa Me Shuttle is a mid-sized, low-floor, low-noise vehicle designed from the ground up using zero-emission technology. Each shuttle in the Belfast deployment will have a human safety driver on board and be capable of carrying up to 20 people seated. So many of these shuttles are gonna start out with a safety driver, but then that'll go away. The deployment will initially see two autonomous shared passenger shuttles running between local transportation links, meaning between bus stations or subway stations. The rollout phase involves a period of closed operation during the first quarter of 2025 before passenger service in the second quarter of 2025. So they're gonna run them with no passengers for three months and then allow passengers on board. The eVersum collaboration is the latest in OXA's autonomy efforts that include a partnership announced in August that will see its autonomy software installed in a variety of vehicle types operated by Beep Incorporated. Vehicles featuring OXA driver software are currently operating at the SunTrax test facility in Auburndale, Florida. That's Beep's test facility. The OXA driver for Beep combines sensor data from the camera, LIDAR, and radar sensors to enable a more comprehensive view than systems that rely on cameras alone. The fused sensor technology is said to be the first of its kind deployed in a passenger shuttle in the U.S. So this is a new concept in sensor. What it is, is they group all three sensor types in one element. And this is the future of sensors for autonomous driving, rather than having separate sensors up to 40, we saw with Waymo on their robo taxis, all separate. This will make fewer clustered sensor groups on these autonomous vehicles. So this is a stepwise improvement in sensor technology. The software uses AI to accurately sense and predict changes to the vehicle's environment while learning from previous journeys, which the company says is key to improving the capability of the technology over time and especially leading to the elimination of the human safety driver. This beep announcement followed a successful Series C funding round for OXA, which raised more than $140 million for business earlier this year as well as for a new strategic partnership leveraging several Google Cloud products. So OXA just raised a bunch of money, just did these partnerships, and is now partnered with Google Cloud to process all the data coming from the sensor packs on these autonomous vehicles. In addition to the OXA driver software, OXA offers the OXA MetaDriver, a suite of proprietary Gen AI tools that accelerate deployment of the system, and OXA Hub, a set of cloud-based offerings for autonomous fleet management for industries including agriculture and logistics. So that very last piece, the OXA Hub, is a reference to what we talked about in the last agriculture vertical video that I did, which was saying there'll be one person in a control room controlling a whole fleet of tractors over a large owner's agricultural property. So they might have 10 different tractors and combines in multiple fields all running at once with only one person managing all that. This is major changes coming. And why I said in that ag video a week or two ago that in the relatively near future, meaning about three years, on the big farms, 
you will no longer see people working in the fields. That's the point we're at. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to hit the watch time requirement, and I can only do it with your help. Also, I just read about a huge, amazing AI conference in Singapore next year. The only way I can do that is with your support on Patreon. So if you guys want to keep hearing from these cutting edge conferences like TED, what I'd like to do is to be able to go to conferences all over the world and keep you on the extreme cutting edge. I can only do that with you supporting me on Patreon. That's the only way. So thanks so much. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.